Let's graph the equation y equals 3x plus 2. And we'll do this two ways. We'll plug some numbers in to draw the graph, and then we'll check it with the slope-intercept formula. So if x is 0, I like to start with 0. You can start with any number. But if we use 0, it'll probably fit on the graph. So 3 times 0 plus 2, that gives us 2. We could say x is 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2. That gives us 5. And let's choose negative 1. We have negative 1, 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3. So negative 3 plus 2, we get negative 1. So these are the points we can graph. So for the first one, 0, comma 2, we go over to 0 for x, 1, 2 for y. For 1, 5, we go over 1 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then for negative 1, negative 1, we go over 1 and down 1. And that gives us our graph. We could have done it with two points, but three is nice. Make sure you didn't make any errors. Then we can just put a line through those points. And this is the graph for y equals 3x plus 2. Put little arrows here to show it goes into infinity. Let's check our work with the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. So the y-intercept, 2, that's where the line is going to go through the y-axis. So find 2 right here x is 0, so that's the y-intercept, that's b. And then for the 3x, we'd like to consider this to be a fraction, so we'll say 3 over 1. That's the same as 3. That gives us rise over run. So I go up 3 from that y-intercept and over 1. 1, 2, 3, over 1. And then I could go up 3, rise, 1, 2, 3, over 1. Likewise, I could go in the opposite direction. I could go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1 keep going and you see that all of these are falling on the line. So this is a way we can check that our graph for y equals 3x plus b is correct. Both ways will give you the same answer. It's just nice to check your work. This is Dr. B graphing the linear equation y equals 3x plus 2. Thanks for watching.